Hi Tenfold, my name is Gui. Please help me with this question. Thank you. Okay, I love this question because you look at it and you don't know where to start. And this is great application. Not only similarity, but also congruency at the same time. You guys always forget your congruent triangles. So let's leap into this. It says, in the diagram, AB is equal to BC. This length here is equal to that length there. And BF is equal to FE. BF and FE are equal, okay? If CD is equal to 38, so that's this length here, find the length of DE. So we're trying to find this unknown length here. Okay, so when I first looked at this question, I thought, how on earth am I going to prove this? Because obviously you want to try and use the midpoint theorem. You've got a midpoint here and you've got a midpoint here. But these triangles, trying to prove that they're similar would be very tough because we have one common angle and then finding other equal angles is virtually impossible in these triangles. So what I'm going to do is be sneaky. Remember, if you have a midpoint, we have this midpoint here, B is the midpoint, and you connect it to another midpoint on a triangle or you draw a parallel line from that line. I'm going to do that. I'm going to say construct line BG. Firstly, construct line BG such that BG is parallel to CD. Okay, so we've got this line parallel to this line, which means automatically because this here is the midpoint, there's a midpoint here, because this line is parallel to the other line of the triangle, this has to be the midpoint here. Okay, so what we can say is firstly, BG is a midline. Why? Because B is the midpoint of AC. Okay, so we already know that it divides that in half there, but then we also know that BG is now half of CD, because if you look in this big triangle ABC here, if this is half of that, then this baseline must be half of that baseline there. So we know that BG is 19 units, okay? So how does that help us? Well, let's look at this diagram. We now have information here and here. Firstly, we've got that BF is equal to FE, and that was given to us. So that's a side. Then also because we've got this parallel line relationship with a transversal, we know that this angle B here is equal to angle E. Angle B is equal to angle E. And why? Because of alternate angles, and remember your parallel lines, BG is parallel to CD. Okay? So we have a side and an angle. If we can prove another angle relationship, we already have congruent triangles. So I'm just going to say simply here, that angle G is equal to angle D, which is this angle over here. And that is also alternate angles. And BG is parallel to CD. Okay, so therefore, triangle, remember, label them so that the corresponding stuff corresponds with each other when you label them. So BGF. The angle that's equal to B is angle E. Oh, we've got congruent triangles here. So angle E, angle equal to G is D, E, D, and also F on that side. And why? Because we've got side, angle, angle. So now that we've proved that these two triangles here, this B, G, F, and E, D, F are congruent, we know that the corresponding sides are equal to each other. BG is equal to ED. Why? Because if we have two triangles, I'm going to redraw them so that they sit with the right orientation. Okay, so if we take it from this triangle here, we've got B, G, F, with angle B equal to angle E. So E sits over here. Angle F is equal to angle F, so F sits there. And angle G over here was equal to angle D, okay? 
And remember, these lengths were given as equal, B, F, and F, E. So now if we have exactly the same triangles over here, it means that this side is equal to this side. GF is equal to DF. And also that BG is equal to ED. So now we can say, therefore, BG is equal to ED. And why? Because of congruency. We have just proved that, that those two triangles are congruent to each other. That's what this symbol here means. It means they are exactly the same. Now remember, right at the beginning, because we constructed this line here, this BG parallel to CD, we established that BG is equal to half of that length CD. Why? Because of midpoint theorem. Okay, that should have been a reason there, midpoint theorem. Okay, so we established that BG is equal to 19 units. It's half the length of that CD baseline. And now because we've got congruent triangles, these triangles are exactly the same as each other. We know that EG is equal to 19 units. Therefore, ED is equal to 19 units. Okay. So whenever you have a question like this, guys, just look here. The moment you get given a midpoint, if you have a situation where you have a midpoint and you don't have anything else to work with, but you have a length at the base here, say you get given a length of x, always remember that you may be needing to construct a line there. If you construct a parallel line there, then you know automatically that because those two are parallel, remember, midpoint theorem says that this is therefore the midpoint of that side, and this side is equal to a half of the baseline that it is parallel to. Okay, very sneaky question. Also incorporated a lot of your congruency. Remember, guys, in grade nine, you learn about congruent triangles, and then you forget all about them. In matric, it's all about similarity, but remember, congruent triangles, if you can prove them, they are so useful because they are identical to each other. If you have a triangle that's exactly the same as another one, the angles are exactly the same, the lengths are exactly the same. You can use that in so many different ways, particularly in your Euclidean geometry.